The fourth Tuesday, excuse me, the fourth Thursday in November is traditionally the day the United States celebrates Thanksgiving. And we say the U.S. because it really is only here. In Canada, they do have a Thanksgiving. It's in October. It has nothing to do with us. Anyways, for those of us rise, residing in America, it's almost time to put your loosest clothing so that you can get ready to tackle that turkey. You got to make plenty of room, right? But have you ever wondered why are we eating turkey? Why is turkey so synonymous with pilgrims in the first Thanksgiving back in 1621? We asked that because as it turns out, there might not have even been a turkey on the first holiday table. And guess this, NBC News actually had the same question we had, and so they checked in with Ashley Rose Young, and that's the historian with the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. That's the source. So they tell us that the meats likely shared between the pilgrims and the Native Americans, venison, geese, and duck, no turkey. So how did turkey make its way into the Thanksgiving grocery list? It's a great question. Well, our friends over at Britannica, the encyclopedia that has everything, they tell us the idea of turkeys on Thanksgiving could have been because of a writer named Sarah Hale. In her 1827 novel, Northwood, Hale spent an entire chapter detailing a New England Thanksgiving, complete with a turkey at the head of the table. Turkeys are native to North America, and back then there were a lot of them. And that particular bird set the American table apart from that of the British table. And more people were able to get their hands on those turkeys, and they bring the nation together with shared food on a shared holiday. Perfect equation, right? Plus, turkeys, they're big enough to feed a lot of people all, people all at once, and uh, the author Hale also advocated for Thanksgiving to be a national holiday as the country was on the brink of a civil war at the time. President Abraham Lincoln finally did proclaim the Thanksgiving holiday in 1863. So while there is no proof of a turkey on Thanksgiving in 1621, the affordability, convenience, and the really sheer word of mouth cemented the holiday legacy for, you got it, the turkeys on Thanksgiving.